Welcome to First Page Fridays, a video series from the Ames Free Library. Join us each week as AFL staff share the first pages of books from a wide variety of genres. We'll read everything from new releases to titles from the library's most popular authors and even some of our personal favorites. The Road by Cormac McCarthy When he woke in the woods in the dark in the cold of night, he reached out to touch the child sleeping beside him. Nights dark beyond darkness and the days more gray each one than what had gone before, like the onset of some cold glaucoma dimming away the world. His hand rose and fell softly with each precious breath. He pushed away the plastic tarpaulin and raised himself in the stinking robes and blankets and looked toward the east for any light, but there was none. In the dream from which he'd wakened, he had wandered in a cave where the child led him by the hand their light playing over the wet flowstone walls. Like pilgrims in a fable swallowed up and lost among the inward parts of some granatic beast, deep stone flues where the water dripped and sang. Tolling, tolling, on the silence, tolling in the silence, the minutes of the earth and hours and days of it and the years without cease until they stood in a great stone room where lay a black and ancient lake. And on the far shore, a creature that raised its dripping mouth from the rimstone pool and stared into the light with eyes dead white and sightless as the eggs of spiders. It swung its head low over the water as if to take the scent of what it could not see. Crouching there, pale and naked and translucent, its alabaster bones cast up in shadow on the rocks behind it, its bowels, its beating heart the brain that pulsed in a dull glass bell. It swung its head from side to side and then gave out a low moan and turned and larched away and loped soundlessly into the dark. With the first gray light he rose and left the boy sleeping and walked out to the road and squatted and studied the country to the south, barren, silent, godless. He thought the month was October, but he wasn't sure. He hadn't kept a calendar for years. They were moving south. There'd be no surviving another winter here.